How's it going everybody? Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're taking a look at the PTC Custom Fit Engine Air Filter on our 2013 Ram 2500. Now I do want to start off by mentioning that our Ram 2500 has the Hemi 5.7 liter in it so this air filter is made for the V8 gasoline engine. Checking and changing your filter and keeping it clean, making sure it's in working order is going to make sure that our truck gives us the best performance and fuel economy that we can get. Because our filter is going to be filtering all the air going into the engine. So if it does become dirty or clogged, the airflow is not going to be able to get through, again robbing the engine of the power and economy that we want to get out of it. Not to mention, if we do have a filter that starts to get clogged, we're definitely going to be losing power and it's not going to be having the airflow to get through. Plus, if we do have pieces of debris that does get through, it can cause a lot of damage once it gets into the engine itself. Now, now a lot of new vehicles have a reminder on the dash to remind you to change your oil, maybe even have a fuel light to let you know that you're getting low on fuel. But remembering to change your filter might not be that easy. But the manufacturer does recommend checking it or changing it about every 12 to 18,000 miles, but you can check your owner's manual for a more specific time. And I know we've all been at the service center where we're getting an oil change, something else maybe, and they offer to replace our filter for us. Well, that's all fine and well, but there's really no reason to pay anybody to do it, especially on a Ram, because it only takes a few minutes and there's no tools involved. In fact, we have our new filter here, so we can set it aside for now, and we can check our old filter, and if it is dirty, we can put it in place. So the first thing you wanna do is open the hood and come over to the passenger side. We're gonna find a big black box. We'll have a tab on the front, two tabs towards the passenger side fender, and then one more right by the firewall on the back side of the box. All of these are just gonna flip open, and we want to grab the edge of the box, kind of lift up a little bit and push towards the engine just slightly. And I'll unhook these tabs here. I'm going to reach in and I'm going to pull the filter out. Now already you can already see that our filter is pretty dirty. It's starting to change color actually, so it's not that bright white anymore. And if we open up the pleats, we can see it is catching a little bit larger debris, which is a good thing because we don't want any of this to get inside the engine bay. So we'll set our old filter aside. And putting the new one in is as easy as just orienting it the right way, dropping it in the box. And then these tabs here, again, we kind of want to push towards the engine so it's a little bit past where it needs to go. And we'll just slide it in place and get the clips back engaged and we're ready to go. But it really is that simple. Again, no reason to pay anybody to do it for you. You saw how simple it was, a matter of a minute or two, you can have it changed and you're back on the road. But again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com and that'll finish up your look at the PTC Custom Fit Engineer Filter on our 2013 Ram 2500. 